little run check-in. Run number four done. Only a short one tonight because my knees and calves are really, really hurting. I don't feel as out of breath, but yeah, maybe run number five would be better. Hello and welcome back to another vlog. It was extended bank holiday for me. I had Friday off. So me and the brother took the girls swimming and then to the fair in South Sea after for some fun and some ice cream. And then Lisa got home and this is where the fun ended. They're all at it. I don't mean the fun ended because Lisa got home. She's not some kind of ogre killing monster thing. No, it's just that she happened to notice. The spots. I am really sorry if you were swimming at Romsey Rapids on Friday because I didn't notice. Seeing as the bank holiday was now ruined with the infectious one, I thought now would be a good time to do my um, smart home tech setup slash tour thingy. So here is part one and I hope my home tech inspires your home tech and you enjoy it. Now with Olivia hating tech, this is the only tech in this house that she's actually purchased and that is the, the eye poop, which as you can see is nothing more than a sticker, but Lisa does have a sense of humour. Seeing as we are in the ensuite, it makes sense that now we move out of the ensuite, what I like to call the master bedroom or the love shack. Now I don't condone tech in the bedroom, but I don't really have a choice because I struggle to get to sleep without a TV in the bedroom, which is quite counterproductive because I fall asleep with the TV on and I then have to wake up to turn the TV off. Uh, on my bedside cabinet, as you can see now, because I'm rolling this video over the top, uh, I have a Balkin dual charge station, which charges my iPhone, my Apple Watch at the same time. And you can also see there my AirPods. Uh, I mainly use those at night. Um, I pair them to the TV so that the sound does not wake Olivia or Lisa, because Lisa isn't a fan of... <laughs> John Wick at 11 o'clock at night. That's actually a lie because I go to bed at nine o'clock at night. For the central lighting in this room, we have both of our bedside lamps. They have Philips Hue bulbs. And then behind the TV here, we have a Philips Hue balloon. For entertainment in this room, other than the obvious entertainment, we have this smart LG 34 inch 3D TV. Uh, we also have hooked up is this Apple TV fourth generation, which allows me to watch things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, BBC, ITV Catch Up, Now TV, iTunes, Plex, and any other media service that you prefer to watch. And as you can probably see here, we have an Amazon. She's used to control everything around the house with the voice, also to ask things like, how does my calendar look today? It looks like I no longer have access. That didn't go as planned. But she also tells us jokes and she also plays music for me and Olivia to dance around like complete loons. Hidden in there is our Bose Sound Touch 10 speaker for multi room. Can't see behind the TV here. All of this is uh, hooked up to a Wemo power switch as well, so that again, with my voice on my phone, I can just cut the power to everything in the bedroom so it's not all on standby because I hate leaving things on standby and consuming energy. And finally in here we have the Philips Hue. This is the kill switch. It's on my side of the bed because I am the tech controller. So this switch is used to kill all of the tech in the house with one press of a button. Push a button like so. Oh, set in that mood. Blue, mm, it's quite nice. I digress, you can uh, yeah, turn everything off from a switch. So moving out to the landing. Yes, there is tech on my landing. There is a Nest third gen which is a smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. It's smart, so it hooks up to um, an app on my phone. It does kind of self-check, safety checks on itself every week. There's a night light on it, so if Olivia comes out of her bedroom, perhaps you see where you're going. And if it knows you're out of the house and it detects movement, it starts recording on any Nest cams that you also have in your account. 
Off of the landing is this room slash cupboard, which is the most manliest cupboard in the house. This is where we keep the tools. And I use that term loosely. In here, the controller for the Nest thermostat. So Olivia's bedroom tech consists of this Nest cam, this Amazon Echo Dot, and this disco light thing. This is old fashioned, this is manual. You actually have to plug this in for it to work. But the, uh, the Nest cam is a baby monitor cam, which I use to monitor Olivia. Lisa uses an old Motorola camera, which I'll show you in a second and the Amazon Echo is so that Olivia can ask her to change the color of her room because we also have a Philips smart bulb in her lamp this little Motorola camera here which points down to Olivia's bed here and because Lisa refuses to put any smart apps on her smartphone this room is the multi-faceted kind of change room, spare room, guest room that we use. And also, it's the only room in the house that since we've moved in has yet to be decorated. In this room, we have a similar tech layout to the bedroom in that we have a smaller TV, Apple TV 4th gen, so that guests can come in here, relax, chill out. We also have multi-room for Alexa so that we can come in here, get changed, ask to play some music, what our commute's gonna be like, all that kind of stuff. And obviously in this room, the obligatory lamp has a Philips Hue bulb in it. And that brings us back to the study. The only uh, room in the house that I'm allowed to basically just do as I like in terms of decor. So hence why I've got my special edition Superman canvas up in the background there. I don't need to get approval from Lisa to do what I want in this room, hence why it looks the way it does. No Bose speaker in here. What we have in here is the Amazon Touch, which has got like a seven inch screen with an Alexa built into it. Um, and again, it's for controlling everything over the house with my voice, but also acting crazy and dancing stupid with Olivia. Show me the front door. This room is also fully RGB'd up. This is the uh, Wemo Switch app, which allows me to control various lights all over the house. So everything you can see on my desk is connected via this, my pride and joy, the Dell XPS 13 inch super powerful laptop. I used to have a PC at home, I used to have a PC at the office, laptop at home, a MacBook and stuff I used to take to clients, got rid of it all, replaced it all, just with a single laptop which comes everywhere with me now. This laptop is connected via a docking station which, which is hidden up here in the top drawer and that controls all of the screens and speakers and that kind of stuff. Uh, in this drawer here, cables, for plugging in devices. We have the subwoofer and then the microphone controller for this big microphone. My uh, screens here are the LG 29 inch ultra wide. Uh, they're currently set up in kind of dual screen so you can use both and work between them which is perfect for video editing. But also really good for multitasking when I have to do some proper work here at home. My keyboard is the uh, Logitech to Craft because quick story, long story long, is I spilled coke on my keyboard at the office. So I took my keyboard that was here to the office and replaced my one at home here with this. And finally, hidden in the office, out the way, it's an Epson Stylus XP700 wireless printer. So if we do live in the Stone Ages and need to print something out on physical paper, we can do it, otherwise it's just used as a scanner. Final room upstairs is the bathroom. And the only tech in here, which is pure luxury and only because it's surplus to requirements, iPad Air so that I can get in the bath, chill out, and watch some YouTube videos for all of 10 minutes before Olivia comes in and kicks me out. So that's it for upstairs part one of my home tech slash smart tour slash stuff thing. Hope you liked it. If you didn't, I don't care. Bye internet! Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking here. You can watch my previous video by clicking here or check out my website which should be displayed here. And remember, whether you like the video or not, and whether you watched it or not, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.